later. We'll show off the fan signs in a bit. But right now, we are jumping into Grand Finals. Mr. E versus Jewel. Now, Jewel was unfortunately not in, New, uh, in the city for a couple of months. Actually uh, living in Long Island for a bit. And this was a match that you saw happen over and over again. Mr. E versus Jewel. They have so much experience fighting each other at Aeon. And Jewel able to land a nail forward air into another. And he's dead. And he's dead. All right, GG's well. Um, <laughs> so we've got a Fire Emblem Awakening match going on here. This is either like wife versus husband or friend versus friend or uncle uh, versus something. I, I don't know. Something. Some family, whatever your playthrough was. My knowledge of, um, of the Fire Emblem family tree is, is very, very limited. But all I know right now is that Mr. E is doing a phenomenal job in edge guarding Jewel. And that is definitely one of Mr. E's strong suits. Was that intentional to throw the book like that? Or was he aware that he had the book in his hands? Because that was a very awkward angle to throw that. There are times when Mr. most of the time when Mystery gets that book or just an item in general, he, he he's very he's known to have very good uh, item play. Yeah. So it could have been intentional, but it was still like an awkward decision. We'll see if he can try to get back on the stage though. Raciel managed to get back on there. Obviously, Dolphin Slash, very strong recovery as well for Lucina. It, it allows her to go deep like that, right? Tries to get the spike, not gonna be able to get up. He's still coming back into the fight, finally wow. gets it. Mr. E is just relentless. He refuses to give up. He's like, you know what? I've already committed to this option. Doesn't kill if I, this one doesn't kill because this next one certainly will. But this is still quite the lead for Joel putting Mr. E at 87%. All he needs is one good arc fire here, and that could be the stock. Man, Lucina's just at the ledge. Insanely scary. Whether she's coming back to the stage or she's just got, got ledge trapping on you. It's like, it is such a force to be reckoned with. Yep. Oh, right now, Jeweler, like you see him like playing back a little bit more than usual. Like, going with those thunders, going with those thunders, L thunders. He's disrupting Mr. E's momentum. He's like conditioning him. He's making him consider all these projectiles at once. And by the time he goes through that thought process, he gets hit by one. And that's a very 3-7% for Jewel. Wow. There's a couple of times when Jewel like runs in there trying to bait out an option. Yep. That that smash tag was actually a really good option because it covered right behind him as well in case he opted to go for a roll, which he did. It was a sour spot, so it didn't kill, but it still got him off of him. And right now, like uh, Jewel, unfortunately not being able to catch Mr. E's landing with the Thor on. And right now, he's expanding the most out of his arc fires. He is trying to burn it out, literally, so yep. that he can get the book. But Mr. E staying one step ahead of him, making sure that he cannot grab the book. Um, approaching and really, really aggressively. I believe that was an F tilt to the dash attack. <gasps> oh no, he put himself in a bad spot. He thought he had a potential edge guard. Gets caught by the second swing, but recovers you... back. What in the world? And suddenly the tide has been shifted towards the favor of Mr. E. But the drift from Jewel towards the edge saved him originally, but the F tilt from Mr. E bringing it all the way back. Just a fantastic edge guard coming out from Mr. E. So Jewel tried as wow. hard as he could to get back on, but the second you see him roll back on, a the jab, gen the gentleman's yep. gets the kill. To one stock apiece. And right now, Jewel oh! takes the falling <laughs> up air. Oh, he what is the He got 49% off of a falling up air into an arc fire, into whatever aerial that was. Regardless, it was phenomenal play. Mr. E getting very, very similar percentages from the downfield up air into the read on the jump with the back air. I'm loving these Levin Sword drops on top of the spells. That dolphin slash seemed a little bit unnecessary, but he yep. had the ledge to try to recover as fast as possible. So that's why you have to go for it. But now we see Mr. E offstage. He just goes for it. And Jewel doesn't yep. do that too often, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes Jewel opts to just oh. hang out on stage and just set yep. up shop with the arc fire. But every now and then, he'll go off, especially if it's high. He tends to do that a lot more when it's high. But when he goes low like that... He just chases your DI. Yeah. He's chasing yeah. your drift. And he's like, what are you going to do? You're going to try to contest with my 11 aerials? Yeah. You're going to contest with my disjointed aerials that will kill you at 60% from that? No, you're not. So hold this, and that's going to be the game for me. Um, <laughs> Duel one game away from resetting this bracket. Let's see if he has the power to be able to do it. But now we're going to Battlefield, a fantastic stage for literally anyone with the sword, especially Lucina. Okay, opting to go for the roll. If you're going to hold rapid jab like that after, like, yep. what is it? Like 11 after 11 hits, you yeah. get a vulnerability on your roll. 11 hits. Frames, hits, whatever. 11 something. You 11 know? something. <laughs> Seconds, minutes. Yep, but right now Jewel's applying a lot of great vertical shield pressure on top of uh, under Mr. E with those up tilts, but Mr. E is still able to land successfully. Oh, the movement for Mr. E there was impeccable because the way Jewel positioned his arc fire was between the platform and the ground so that he had such a narrow opening to go through and Mr. E was still able to break through it. The Bro. patience for Mr. E. <laughs> Bro, E is making Lucino look like a fast faller right now. Am I, yep. am I, am I going insane? Like yep. 
That's 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 exactly what he does. The way he is able to just dart in and out of all these precarious situations is genuinely insane. The book came out as from his recovery, and because the book came out, it like stunned Mystery when he's trying to yep. go for an attack hit recovery. That was so smart. So you'll see Jewel try to intentionally burn more charge of his up than he actually needs to. A beautiful catch on his sword right now. That's going to give him an extra tool to get right back on, throwing it effectively, resetting the neutral. But the dash attack was a little bit too aggressive on Mystery Shield. Saw so Mystery actually got a, a, tremp, a trump there, but wasn't able to connect the back air afterwards. What was going on? He got the falling down onto the platform, still hitting Mr. E below him, and then was able to convert that into another aerial. But right now, Jewel is sitting at 163%, more than enough to get knocked off stage and into the blast zone by the forward air. There's a fantastic fadeaway forward air coming out from E. I love that. Spiratu. I mean, it's a good command grab. You know, yep. you can just do it mid-air. Not many characters have that ability, so might as well abuse it. If Wow. A lot of players are conditioned to hold shield when they're on a platform like that, right? Because they don't expect that. Hey, right what? now, this is very, very difficult for Mr. E to come back, but the re-grab, that is tough. definitely not what you want to do in the early stages of the arc fire, because you have to snap right back on, and once you yeah. snap back on, you're going to get hit by that arc fire into the Thoron. Beautiful parry for Mr. E, effectively F-tilting Jewel offstage. Okay, he picked up the Levin Sword Have as a projectile, tries to toss it off. Oh, this could be an edge guard. This Ooh. could be a death, and it Ooh. is. He got the spike. He recognized that Jewel's going to go for a super early L1 yep. once he was out of jumps, because most of the time, Jewel has been waiting and then yes. Elwin. So that time he didn't immediately try to throw off Mystery's timing, but he was prepared. And like all day today, I see Mr. E being much more aggressive offstage, going through those down airs, and he has been landing them. His timing on them has become really, really impeccable, and that's very, very Ooh. commendable. Amazing tech. Wow, not even sure how he was able to read the angle on whichever direction the projectile sent him. He swung at the arc fire to just disintegrate it. Yep. Ooh, Jewel slightly a little bit too far up to arc fire the ledge. Very, very unfortunate, giving Mr. E all of the stage control that he could possibly desire. And you saw how low he tried to recover with that Dolphin Slash, yes. too, to try to avoid a potential arc fire coming his way. Draw platform up there, very strong option for Robin. Good parry to get him off of him. Mm -hmm. And the multi jab is the one that's actually going to be knocking him all the way up. But Mr. E is still able to land successfully. Mr. O, oh, Jewel was trying to bait an out of shield option, knowing Lucina doesn't have the drift to hit Robin. Oh, look out. Okay, Mr. E just rolls on stage. That's how you can react to. So Jewel just uh, wasn't prepared for it. Yep. He I don't even think Jewel was even in the position to be able to punish that. He did not have Thorin on deck. He didn't have Arc Thunder. Yeah. So yeah. that was definitely the perfect, that was the golden threat that yeah. Mr. E followed. Exactly. Gets caught by the Elwin accidentally. Let's see if you can try to get back to stage. Goes for a high recovery to avoid that follow-up from Jewel. Really now he's turned the tables on him. Jewel trying to buy some time here. Arc fire into arc back air with disintegration. A race. 143%. Now, I don't ever want to be counting Jewel out because all he needs is an arc fire, arc fire, arc fire up air, especially on a stage like Battlefield where such a conversion is definitely possible. But, but right now... He was playing super safe there yep. that entire time. But can we talk about how sick that conversion was? Mm -hmm. He turned around side B, first swing of Dancing Blade, dragged him down to the ground, comboed that into an up yep. tilt. That was... Mr. E, you're a nut. The, the way both of these players right now, I feel like are playing out of their minds. I feel like, though, unfortunately, had Jewel not gotten spiked, this would have been a very, very different conclusion to the game because the spike just like kind of cuts you out completely and takes you out at every single percent. It's the universal killer, you know? Now, um, what's important here is for Jewel not to lose faith. You know, yep. you got you won game one. You, you can't do that. You, the, you gotta just try to like bring it back, and he feels confident, right? He opts yeah. to go back to Battlefield for game number three, and once more, guys, if Jewel wins this, it's a reset in the bracket. If Mystery wins, that's the tournament. So there's a lot, to, a lot to lose here for Jewel, yep. but Mystery has, is big chill. If Mystery loses this, he's got a lot to work with. Yes. And even so, like right now, ooh, you see Jewel able to get back a little bit of stage as he wanted. He has to be really, really careful the way he's facing those forward airs on Mr. E's shield. Hey, I'm still going to be able to combo that into a back air. I've seen this a lot from both players, is dropping to the platform up air. It's a very strong option against yeah. the opponent when they're just like chilling there holding their shield. And right there, Jewel is going to get the arc fire into the forward air and arc th uh, arc thunder off stage. Yeah. Wow. And Mystery was at a jump, so he could not make it back. So it's going to be a stock going to Jewel. Forward air, he saved his jump. He was able to, you saw how far he went. Mm -hmm. For Mystery just to chase him down with that forward tilt. 
And right now, Mr. E just like doing his best to keep Jewel off the stage. And, and Jewel is still getting just knocked around. Mr. E still sitting at a very, very comfortable 0%. Ah, uh, the air dodging through the up tilt, but that sets up, of course, for a frame trap. But that is going to be finally a little bit of percentage for Jewel. And right now, he has Mr. E where he wants him on ledge. Arc fire ready. Huh. So Mr. E was waiting for the next option to come yep. from Jewel right there when he could have easily gone for something else. But because he was thinking two steps ahead, mm -hmm. he didn't go for the obvious like forward tilt or something yep. just like push him back off. So that's why there's a bit of hesitation there. Don't like punish afterwards. And right now, Mr. E is looking to clean up the stock in any shape we find imaginable. I, I would assume we'd be seeing like an, a falling neutral, but that is not quite enough to take it. He was trying to see if Jewel was trying to drift in. I love that recovery from Jewel actually working out really, really well for him right now. He's dancing, catches an upper. Going to try to catch Mr. E's landing, but Mr. E turning the tides on him, lands back down, yep. connects it up there, and brings him to a second stock. <gasps> Jewel had the lead. Jewel had the lead. What he had the happened? reaction. But unfortunately, he was just barely slightly out of range. Super, super unfortunate. Jewel has to work on his positioning on the grab a little bit. But regardless, he had the perfect idea. Mr. E standing right outside of the range of Arcfire, making sure he's not going to get hit with any funny business anytime soon. Committing offstage to those forwarders, dealing a very comfortable 48% in total to Jewel. Okay, managed to grab him. Pushes him back off. He still has his double jump. The way he used it to catch the left yeah. sword. He like the way Jewel is able to just like stall and move around off stage to even like have the time to grab these projectiles. It's, it's, every time I see it, it's a genuine treat. Okay, again, one eighteen percent. Look out for that arc fire. Ooh. Oh, a missed input from Jewel. Not exactly sure what happened there, but that is going to be the stock. And now Jewel is sitting at seventy-two percent. This is really really good for him. But getting side beat almost to his death. Oh, and no. that is not going to be it quite yet. Opting for the high recovery. Mr. E falling through on the punish. Bro, Jewel like, was so tricky with his landing that Mr. E thought he was on the right side. Yep. Okay, they get that down smash. Yeah, the first hitbox. For a year. The, the activeness on that hitbox is disgusting. The activeness on it is how active it is and how large the hitbox is is nasty, as well as how early it can kill you, too, if you fall into the strong hit of it. But regardless, right now, Jewel is struggling to find the footing that he needs to regain stage control. Mr. E doing a great job of just, like, keeping him off, making sure he can't set anything up. But Jewel is able to get back on, but Mr. E with the uh, F-Smash calling out the cross-up. Yeah, he knew he was going to go for the jump. Got the perfect anti-air for the kill. I like these delays on the up airs. Trying to wait for Jewel to do something out of shield first, yep. but Jewel just holding on playing patient, and now things are stacked against him. Yep. Jewel's pushed against the corner. Mystery playing super safe too, look at him. He's doing like a lot of nares. Speaking of playing safe, that was the opposite. Yeah, I believe that might have been shield. trying to be an after long shield, but he's still able to get the arc fire into Florida, and that Ooh. is going to be the edge guard for Jewel, and the bracket reset. Wow. Bro, bro, so like, the second Robin, from Jewel connected that forward air off stage. Mm -hmm. Like he was trapped. He was out of jump, so he, he was gonna fall in an incredibly predictable pattern. So it was just up to Jewel just to clean up shop there. That's gonna be him yep. resetting the bracket against Mystery. E, another our final set, best two of three. Whew. Wow. I, I mean both of these players are going back and forth. It's actually surprising, like both of these players. Um, are like taking turns on each other almost, you know? With the respect of ledge trapping, like Mr. E is very, very slow and steady, but he keeps you in disadvantage for a long time. But the time that Jewel puts you into disadvantage, you're suddenly at 70% in the blink of an eye and you don't even know what happened. Like, uh, it's I, nuts. The, the amount of damage that they, they could both like eggs you, it, it, it's disgusting. And also, when was the last time Jewel's won a tournament? Goodness, it, I, it's he did win. It's Zeno, anyways. He, oh, goodness, but he did win Waypoint yesterday over Venia, actually. But really? Granted, granted, Grand Finals was him playing Captain Falcon versus his Fox. Anyhow. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes you gotta get your secondaries in there, you know? Yep. But regardless, Mr. E using the hitbox of his F Smash to neutralize the arc fire. Really, really good stuff there. But Jewel is still able to come back, unfortunately, not connecting the upper after his forwarder, but making the attempt, anyways. Okay, here we go. I'll be at his shield. Very strong option for Jewel. This is going to be a good edge guard potential. But Jewel is so good with like saving his jumps. He couldn't go back for the ledge, so they went for the next best thing. Ops to go for the platform yep. to mix up where he was going to land from Mr. E. Smart stuff. And Mr. E just opting for the back throw. He's just trying to gain as much stage control as possible. 
And so he needs to find a way to clutch out the stock, but Jewel is able to get back quite aggressively. Really, really great usage of the Thunder, He's just calling out his jumps, but not calling them out when it actually mattered, getting knocked off quite far off stage. I love the goal. Yeah, very smart way just to like, get out of that corner. Ooh. Nice spacing from Mr. Yep. You saw the the distance he was from that, that forward tilt account, uh, call out so many different options. Opted to be jump out of shield. Ooh, and ah, Jewel slightly off on timing, but Mr. E perfectly timed it so that Jewel would still have the end lag of his arc fire, but not be, but just a little bit too slow to be able to jab him in time. Next time, if he picks up on that, he'll be able to grab him if he leads Mr. E shielding. Regardless, right now, Mr. E is trying to just knock Jewel off stage, already putting him at 77%, but the out thunder. Bro, he's getting hit by everything but the kitchen sink right now. Yep. Back air, off stage. Ops to go for an early L win. That time, even if he got hit, he still would have retained his double jump. So that was a yep. very smart decision from Jewel. And right now, Jewel is just being so patient at ledge, calling out the aggressive approach from Mr. E, but surprisingly at 164, still not enough to take out the stock. Oh, he buffered the roll. That's what happened. Wow. So he wanted to get a roll yep. off the ledge, but because he pushed it a little bit too soon, he air dodged through it and then killed him. So that is super yep. unfortunate. And Jewel already amassing a very hefty 35% from just a three aerials, the multi jump knocking Miss Dewey up. I love that use of the... Uh, <laughs> where is he going? That's the classic Mr. E, dog. He's trying. Yeah. That's how you know he's feeling himself. Trying to get that energy, right? He's in the energy of it. Ooh, fantastic parry, but unfortunately not being able to get the punish off. A great back here. And right now, this is Mr. E's stock to take, but Good that positioning. Wow. Just waited there. Waited for the roll. Got the grab. Really, really great patience once again. And right now, I think Jewel's at up out of shield percentage, so Jewel has to be so careful when he is touching Mr. E's shield. Bro, I, I cannot believe that exchange right there. And you notice that Mr. E has, is playing a lot safer here. He's waiting for the... He's, yep. not, he's not playing as aggressive right there. He got him stuck on that trap. He had to go for the lead get-up attack. Mm -hmm. So he just went for the simple up tilt. He didn't try to chase after him or anything. He's doing the same thing with the edge guards. Every single time that Jewel's trying to recover from down below, mm -hmm. Mr. E is just... Oh, he's dead! He's dead! He's and gone! And this is something that Jewel actually showed off last week as well. The down air bouncing the opponent on the bottom of the stage up into an up smash on the platform. That is something that Jewel has shown before he's capable of doing, and it's a sleeper hit. Because when somebody's above you, you usually think, oh, wait, I have the advantage. I'm going to juggle them. Jewel flips that around completely. And you see Mr. E right there, missed inputting a trump as well. So you some technical errors coming out. And right now, Jewel is able to land a big meaty forward, not, unfortunately not being able to convert anything off of it. Both of these players just sort of dancing around each other and each other's shields. And Mystery is like landing down with these up airs on shield because it's one of her safest aerials. Yep. Like it gives has a very small small but a small amount of cooldown right afterwards. Ooh, almost ready to punish the end lag on the arc fight, but just a little bit too slow. Look out, ran right into it. Didn't expect him to shoot a shot that early. Wow, really, really great. You see the gentleman to call out the goal and do it. Ah. Boron gets wow. the kill. It was active for so long, and Mystery was not prepared. Jewel one game away from winning Xeno. And there's my boy Krom. My boy Krom made an huh. appearance. You saw him? There he is. He's, he's there yep, in the yep, background. He's there, guys. I... What's up, Krom? <laughs> so, Mystery's, you can tell Mystery's affected in yep. some fashion, right? Because we saw two separate occasions where he was off stage and, and put it incorrect. In, in yep. You know, but... The first one was when he tried to buffer uh, the roll onto the stage, ended up SDing in the process. Yep. Second one was when he had Jewel on the ledge, tried to go for a trump and ended up just fast falling, putting himself in a very bad position. So both mm -hmm. both times it affected him greatly because one time he lost the stock and one time he put himself into a super disadvantage. Yep. So let's see if he can try to clean that up to his next game. Okay, and right now for possibly the he last... He just walked up to him! I'm sorry, he just walked up to him! Didn't yep. even run! <laughs> he grabbed just him! Up. <laughs> yep. That's the, kind of <laughs> <laughs> That's the way the cookie crumbles, but already amassing 52%. Mr. E committing a little bit too much to the low punish. Fast falling down, not getting the lead on. Wow, getting the down air right now. Jewel correctly being able to react to the fact that Mr. E go back, but unable to punish with the hard fire. Okay, he's chilling. What? He knocked down. him into the arc he fire with down tilt? And he threw a tome at him. <laughs> what is Jewel doing? <laughs> what is happening? 
Well, regardless, whatever is happening is working out really beautifully while well forcing an air dodge for Mr. E. And that is going to be the gentleman. That is not going to be the stock quite yet. Bro. Had Jewel been a little bit more attentive. And that is going to be the arc fire into the Thorgon. That is the one thing you have to be looking out for. Mr. E is a little bit shaken up here. The down throw up here, up here. Already 48%. Mr. E just doesn't have an answer when he's on the ledge right now. I feel yep. like he's just he's eating these arc fires constantly yep. or he rolls and gets caught mm -hmm. by the jab. It, it, it's a tough situation to beat him, so I don't blame him at all, but he's got to figure something out. Uh, Re-grab on the ledge, no invincibility. The most optimal option for Mr. E, unfortunate error from Jewel. Let's see if Mr. Yep. E can try to capitalize a little bit more. And on a stage like FD, he has no platforms to be able to run away into. And right now, he's having the classic mix of the arc fire into the gentleman. And right now, the re-grab is very, very dangerous because if he gets... That is why the Greek grab is dangerous, because if he spaces it a little bit further to the point where the arc fire will dip down below the ledge, that will confirm it to whatever Jewel can pull out of his sketch pad. It'll be the purest form of creativity. And he was very aware of that. I think he was hoping that like Jewel would run out of spells, but yep. it just was not happening. Not quite yet, at least. And right now, Jewel is just throwing down, making this big Y-axis of like involved, of like space that Mr. E cannot cross by bouncing the sword up and down. Mr. E at 75% arc fire at ledge. Jewel missing the first aerial. Mr. E, really, really patient. Drifting back. <gasps> again, the down smash. He's done that time and again, and it catches rolls. Mm -hmm. It's the grab. It's going to be the F throw off stage. He's got a 122%. Avoids the arc fire. He's forward again against the spike. Dunks him into the blast. So that's going to be Jewel. Off. Grand Finals, Jewel making the bracket reset against Mr. E. Wow. He got him. And making a 2-0 in Grand Finals. Congratulations to 3D Jewel for being the winner of Xeno 188. Well, amazing play. I can't believe, gonna, like, yep. okay, let's go, Jewel. That was... I feel you. Wow. When's the last time you won again? He, he won Waypoint yesterday. He won Waypoint yesterday, but... Zeno, it's been a yeah. hot minute, so... Mm -hmm.